record. Well, good afternoon, good afternoon, or evening, evening. I'm see, I'm done been working all day long, and I'm even see, I'm in my office at in at, at home, and it, when it's I can't see outside, so sometimes it would be light out there or dark out there, and I don't know because I work through the night. You all know my working hours, so those of you that respect that, I appreciate you very, very much because it's very, very hard for me to uh, work around your schedule. Uh, but I will allow my schedule to work around yours if you understand the importance of how I've got to work. And unfortunately, I cannot work with a lot of stuff going on. And it's easier for me to work when everything's quiet. It's like I can study, I can work, and I also can hear from the most high. I can understand the scriptures better when the whole entire house is quiet. For whatever reason, I think it's more peaceful he, and he can talk to your spirit. How can you understand anything if you got this and that and everything else is worldly and scamified going on around you, you've got to be able to get away from everything and everybody if you truly think you're going to hear from the most high. Because, see, the enemy can use anybody. The enemy can use any family member, anybody that's your friend, and you think it's the most high. And it could be a trap that would be set to destroy your life. And the reality is you'll never know it. You cannot have a relationship with him if you will not spend time in his book. That's the bottom line. I don't care what anybody else tells you. Now, we've already established that you cannot be saved if you will not obey him. Well, then the, I'm going to tell you right now, you can't have a relationship with him if you don't get in this book. I'm sorry. I don't care what nobody said. Just because you don't go to church doesn't mean you can't pick up the scripture and read it. If you don't want to read it, then you don't want to have a relationship with them. And that's the bottom line. That's the truth. So I am very, very key on trying to make sure when I'm listening and I'm telling you all something that I truly heard it. I don't want to be a scam. I have used to, I, I can tell you the entire time that I used to call myself a Christian, it was the scamified scams that they taught me. And everything that they taught was bull. Now, I'm being respectful tonight. I don't want to let the F-bomb slide. But I'm so upset with the mess that these churches have taught and continue to teach. You can have something right in your face and ignore it. You can skate right past it like it doesn't e exist in the religion called Christianity. You can pick and choose what you want to listen to in the religion called Christianity. That's why I have a problem with it. Because he didn't say you pick and choose what you want to do. He said, this is the way I want it to be. And if Malachi he says, I do not change, then who changed it? Who? And you better not tell me Jesus. Who changed it and who gave them the authorization to if he said, I do not change? I, you know who I is. I am, is what they say. But we know his name is Yahuwah. I call him Yah when I want to really, when I because I'm not going to address him as God. You can continue to do that if you want to. But that clearly means that you're ignorant and you don't study at all. Because you can easily pick up the uh, Google, you look up everything else, why can't you just Google and see what the word God means? What, are you scared because you know it's going to be right that I'm telling you? You think I've got time to sit here and make up anything? I've got customers that are waiting for me to get addressed to them. You think I've got the time to sit here and just make up anything? Go read it. Study it out. Pick it up. Turn off the garbage that you watch it. The other day I sent a post the other night. I said, if you get off of the, the like some of the stuff that you see today, it's ridiculous. Now I got on women earlier. Y'all mad, but I don't care. You women need to understand that your home would be in better position, a lot of you, if you honor your husband like you honor every Negro in your life. Your pastor, you'll honor. Your boss, you'll honor. But the one nigga that the Bible says you should be honoring, you will not honor. Yes, I know I'm pissing you women off, but you know what? I don't care. I The Bible's not designed for me to listen to you. 
So the reality is, ignore what I'm what I gotta say. I don't care. But you better watch what you say about me. Because you don't understand that I am a true leader. And at the end of the day, I could care less how you feel about me. I'm trying to make sure that I correct my wrongdoings. What are you talking about? I got a lot of wrongdoings to correct. What I mean is all them people I preached Jesus to. That blood is still on my hands. So I've got to put the same amount of energy in fixing what I was scamming people with as I was dancing around on a stage with doing the James Brown. Y'all think that's church today. Y'all still think that's church. Y'all think that's worship. Worship is when you do the things he tells you to do. That's part of worship. It ain't falling out crying with a towel. None of that's worship. Matter of fact, in Jeremiah, he calls it vain. He says, do away with it. I don't want to, it stinks in my nose. Your vain celebrations, your new moons and celebrations. Jeremiah the prophet says, it's vain. But yet you think that you've been touched by the spirit, but you ain't changed nothing in your life. How can you say that you are saved? How can you say that you have a relationship with the most high if you do not obey anything he says? I'm sorry. You don't have a relationship with him. You think you do. You think you're saved. But whoa, when you close your eyes. If you don't correct it now, listen to this guy right here. Correct it. Because at the end of the day, there is a place called hell. And we have a choice by how we live our life, where we're going to go when we leave here. I know that's that old time preaching you don't want to hear, but it's the truth. Who told you the different? Who bewitched you? Just because you fell out with the preacher don't mean you fall out with the book. So now let me pull this scripture up so we can get this thing going. And then I'm going to close it out. All right. Sharing screen right now. Get your Bible out. Y'all know how I am. First of all, go to the channel, Word on the Street, like it, share, comment, and please subscribe. We now have 13,564 subscribers. I want you to understand we got 1,300 of them in the last 30 days. So I really am appreciative of those of you that support what I'm trying to do. I'm not here to dance with you and play with you. I'm not here to get no offering out of you. If I want to sing or dance, I've got to I do not go sing or dance or play an instrument. So at the end of the day, it's not about anything you can do for me. It's about when I woke up to this, the main thing I wanted to do was correct it with everybody I know. And hopefully get them to see what I saw. And it took the most high to show me that everybody's not going to see it. So let them perish. So now, after you have done that, pull out your Bible, Jose chapter 4. I just wanted to go there today. I was looking at uh, Jeremiah or Isaiah. I love all the prophets. So it really don't matter if we go from any book from Genesis to Malachi. I love it all. The preacher done convinced you not to listen to it. The preacher told you it's the Old Testament. But you better be, you better understand what you are doing when Moses said, don't turn from the left or the right. Or unless you may perish and you be cursed. That's what Moses said. So you're going to tell me that change? You're going to tell me that you're going to sit here with a straight face and tell me that change? I need to see the scripture. Preacher, don't get on my post or video and pull out your same scamified New Testament scriptures. I want you to show me in the book, because I know the New Testament well. It was a beautiful fabricated story. <clears throat> the law and the New Testament. The law and the New Testament. Which one do you want to listen to? Which sounds worse? 
Do, you, do we, are we first graders here? All right, now we're in Jose chapter four. Now, you know, it, we're in the King James with the Apocrypha, but I've got issues with my Sefer pulling up. It always seems to do this every now and then. So we are in the Bible tonight. I'm with you guys in the book. Pull it out and let's look at it together. Now, what you will notice is I am never going to address the most high as Lord. Although it says Lord in your book, my Apocrypha does not say Lord. But for tonight's purposes, we're here. And so when you see the word Lord, which is a title, and that title is a, a description, if you look it up, worshiping Baal, well, you continue to call him Baal if you want to. But I am going to call him Yah or Yahuwah. That's what I choose to do. One day you will wake up and see it when he reveals it to you. I look at it I, as I'm more blessed than a whole lot of people because maybe he just ain't want to show y'all nothing. Maybe you are part of the ones that are supposed to be lost. You realize that he created some to be lost. And so maybe you in that number, that's the bottom line. So I, I can't even be mad about that anymore because I can't be, like I said earlier, I can't, why am I more concerned about your salvation than you are? If you don't care, then die and go to hell then. But I tell you what, the fabricated lies they taught you in church ain't nothing compared to what this place really is. So you playing with fire, do what you want to do. It's your thing. That, they came out with a song with that. Remember that? That was one of my cuts. Do what you want to do. Y'all know. I can't tell you. You know that? That's what it is. All right. Verse one. I'm just going to read the first, uh, this chapter and we're done. The title says the Lord's controversy with Israel. I'm going to say Yahuwah's controversy with Israel. So we must start with the title. And we must say who is Israel? Who's, who is he talking to here? So we understand that he's talking to a people, a nation, a group of people. Now they painted your mind into thinking that the people that are over there today is what represents who he's talking to. And I've got news for you. Sadly mistaken, that was the biggest scam with coffee on top. Because you and I represent Israel. And if you don't represent the same color as me. You still are part of Israel by belief. Y'all try me out. Study me out. That's what the scripture says. So anybody can be part of Israel. So you racist bastards called Hebrew Israelites trying to be racist towards white folks. You're wrong. Because you can be part of Israel by heritage and belief. Belief means you're obeying his commands. So it don't mean I just woke up and said I believe in you. You would have to be obeying his commands in order to be part of Israel. Study me out. Verse 1 says, hear the word of Yahuwah. You children of Israel. He's talking to all of y'all. All of us. Anybody that claims that they worship the Most High. Anybody that says that they worship and know that he breathed breath in your body. He's talking to you. And me. He said, you, you children of Israel, for the Yahuwah has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. What? Wait a minute. He, he got the counter with the land? Because there is no truth. Whoa, what, 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 what? Nor mercy, nor knowledge of Yah in the land. Uh-uh. Y'all, y'all, this is what the prophet Hosea is saying tonight. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out and blood touches blood. Therefore shall the land mourn and everyone that dwells therein shall languish with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of heaven. Yea, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. Yet let no man strive nor reprove another for thy people are as they that strive with the priest. So that's you arguing with the preacher. That's you just disrespecting the one that's trying to tell you about your soul. Quit arguing with somebody that cares about your soul. You are the most, I, let, let, me, let me go on before I go off on another tangent. Verse five, therefore shall you fall in the day and the prophet also shall fall with you in the night. All these fake scamified prophets, 
profit line, cars and money, houses and all that. Oh, uh -huh, yeah, that's y'all. He says, and I will destroy your mother. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge. Wait a minute. I want you to hear this, you all. YouTube, TikTok, Facebook. I want you to hear what the Most High is saying through me tonight. Hear what he says. He said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, I will reject you. And you shall be no priest to me. Seeing you have forgotten the law of Yah, I'm going to forget your children. Now, see, they don't tell you this in church. See, they don't tell you this in church. They will skate past this in church. In church, they will just get there and say, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge and stop. But you got to read that whole paragraph. This is serious business, people. And if you want to play with it, fine. But you're giving your kids two middle fingers. So don't sit here and tell me you love your kids. You're a liar. Because if you did, you would understand what this scripture is saying to the people. I'm the minister, ML Kimball. It's been my pleasure. You all have a beautiful night.